Let's explore morphs a little bit more and find out what the term um, composability means because if you explore morphic, that's the user interface we're using, they talk about composable morphs and everything you're looking at is made out of a morph. So if we click and get the halo, we can do something pretty interesting. We'll click again and drill down a little bit. We can pull out pieces of the application. We can get rid of the big remaining frame piece and so we've got separate pieces of what is Scratch. If you get scared about that you can click on the background, go to open and click Scratch and get the user interface again. So we've explored two different um, buttons on the Halo. We've got the Grab Me and the Dismiss Me. We can take a look at Debug Me and one more menu for me. Um, we'll take a quick look at the Inspect Morph and see the viewer, which tells us everything about every com um, detail about this morph from a small talk point of view. But we'll get that to, to that another time. More interesting to us is uh, the other, the red button. Now let's click down and grab that button. We can drag it out and it still works. We can click on various buttons and then click on the control button and it's still functioning because it's a self-contained unit. We can drag one of these hats out and we can take it apart. We can click down to get to the image morph, drag it out. So now we have two morphs. Here's where composability comes in. To put this morph back, you don't just put it on top because that won't fuse these two together. You drag the flag back on top of the hat, get down to the halo, click on the red button and choose embed we want to embed into the event hat morph. It's not the same place because these were created programmatically.